We are going to be discussing about how to manage our device using antivirus and firewall settings with Microsoft Intune. If you are working as an IT specialist, one of your aim and objective of, or one of your target is to make sure that all your devices in your company are properly secured. If your task is to manage the Microsoft Intune environment, Definitely, you want to make sure that you have all the required skills on how to configure the antivirus and firewall settings using Microsoft Intune. So if I go to Endpoint Security, and from Endpoint Security, you can see that we have different options we can actually use to manage our device. Here you can see, say, Manage. We have Antivirus, Disk Encryption, Firewall, Endpoint Privilege Management, we will have attack surface reduction, account pro protection, and we also have the conditional access. But I want to focus more on antivirus, firewall, and probably we can actually look at attack surface reduction or account protection. So let me click on antivirus. At this moment, you can see we don't have any policy. We can check on healthy endpoints, active malware, so let me just go back into summary and then here we can actually create a policy. I can now select the right operating system, which is going to be Windows. And then we can select a profile. It says Defender Update Control, Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So let me go for the Microsoft Defender Antivirus and then click Create. Here I can just call this, let me just call this, Endpoint. Oh, I think I think I have to check. Okay, endpoint policy, and then let's click next. So by clicking next, here you can see it says allow archiving. You can see most of them are not configured. So what we can do is the following: you can say allow archive scanning. We can say well, I want to allow scan the archive file by default. Allow email scanning. I can actually allow that as well. And also, we can actually just say, well, allow full scan or remo removable device. Surely, I want to allow that the scan. And also, on downloaded files, then you can just scroll down to see if you have some other options. I'm not going to actually do everything on this. I just want to just show you that we have a lot of other options we can actually configure. So, if you are working in an, in an enterprise environment, definitely you want to take your time to actually check everything step by step because anything you configured beyond what the organization required may actually cause a lot of issues um, among your users because if you have thousands of users and you deploy a specific policy to that users, before you now revert that issue, so many users may have issues trying to actually, for example, access a specific file or that, for example, I can say allow scanning network files well, I will not allow that. Allow script scanning. I can actually say allow default. And then we can just leave it the way it is right now. So this now we cannot say next. Here for the scope tag, we're going to leave it for default. And for the assignment group, at this moment, we don't have search by group. We don't have any group. We can actually search for a specific group. Let me just search for a Windows Win 11 group i'm going to select the windows 11 group well we can actually include or we can actually exclude i only have one device in this group so let me just click next and then save so you can see at this moment the policy has been saved it has been assigned and it says yes so after creating the antivirus policy we can actually uh, as well create a policy for a firewall or for example we can also do a device encryption so let's try to create a device encryption policy so if i click create policy here we can select the right platform which is windows or you can go for mac os now i want to select you can go for bitlocker or personal data encryption so i can go for let me just select bitlocker and then click create so i'm going to call this let me just call this bitlocker policy and then click next so here we can see we have first of all we have the bitlocker we have the bitlocker 
driver encryption, operating system, and more. So if I click the BitLocker require device encryption, we can say, well, it's enabled. Allow warning for other disk encryption, configure recovery password rotation. I'm going to say refresh on both Azure and hybrid. And then BitLocker drive encryption, choose drive encryption method. I'm going to say enabled. I think we're going to leave it for the required, the selected default. And I provide a unique identifier for your organization. Well, I can select that, but for now, I'm just going to leave it at not configured. And then we have the operating system. Enforce drive encryption type on operating system. I can say enabled. Allow users to choose default, which is OK. Um, for the rest, I don't want to require additional authentication and startup configure. So if you're working for a company, um, not all companies actually configure a BitLocker pin when starting their device. Like the comp my previous company actually um, configured a, a, a pin when you're starting your device, you need to enter a BitLocker pin before you can actually uh, continue to uh, start your device. But my recent company I'm working for, you don't need to actually configure, you don't need to enter a pin. It's only when you change specific hardware on that device, then you'll be requested to enter the BitLocker uh, recovery pin. So here we have, for example, you can say choose how BitLocker protection operating system drives can be recovered. We can just click enabled and then we can also leave the default key. And then we say configure storage of BitLocker recovery information to Active Directory um, domain service. And then we want to save the BitLocker also recovery information to Active Directory for operating system drives. That is okay. So now we cannot decide to save for fixed drive data. Let me just see if we have some other things we can also configure here. Well, I can say enforce drive encryption type on fixed data drive. I can click enabled and also choose how BitLocker protection drive can be recovered. We can click enabled as well. And then we'll actually save the information to our active directory domain service. So I'm going to click next for the scope. I'm going to leave that for default. And the assignment, I'm going to choose my Windows 11 device and then click next. And here we cannot click save. So what we are going to do is the following. Now we've decided we have actually deployed some security, for example, antivirus, disk, uh, disk encryption. We can also go for account protection. But let me go to my device. I only have just one device in this environment. So here I can decide to actually sync all the policy we've um, applied to that device. And mind you, we can also restart our device from Microsoft Intune. So um, let me go to the device actually. Here we have the device. Here we have our device. Let me just cancel that. And again, if you want the policy you just applied to take effect on that device, what you can do is the following. So let me just try to switch that. Then we can decide to go to settings. And mind you, if I just go to CMD and there we can actually see the host name of this device, which is the K001, you can see. So we can also enter, okay, you can also enter host name and it's going to give you the name of the device, which is the K001. So here I want to go to accounts and then let me go to access work or school accounts and then we can now go to our domain name and then click info. So here I want to actually sync all the policies that have been applied to this device. And then it is going to take some time for the policy to also get refreshed to this device. So let's just wait for that. So right, right now you can see that it says your work or school requires this device to be encrypted. Select this notification to encrypt this device. So you can see that the, 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 the process takes immediate effect. So if I click OK, and mind you, here, if I just click my file explorer and I go to this PC, you can see that there is no encryption on this device. So it says, uh, well, are you ready to start encryption? I can say, yes, I don't have any other disk encryption software installed. I can select that. Do not ask me again. And then we can say, yes, then we can start the encryption process on this device. So right now you can see it's checking your PC for configuration and it's then starting BitLocker. 
well i'm going to save to your azure ad account you can click save and then click next here we can encrypt the use this space only click next and then start encrypting so you can see that this goes actually very very fast and everything we've implemented on this device is going to take effect as quick as possible because i've already synced all the policies to this device so this is going to take some time before it gets completed you can see it's just moving from 92 to 93 and then it will get on at things and even encrypt your device using microsoft intune